ready to discuss the evolution of wigs and hair. <laughs> yes, if you have a Twilight. diagram. <laughs> um, yeah, but we need Peter Facinelli here to really discuss right? the evolution yeah. of wigs. Yeah, some right. nice wigs. Can we go through each movie and just tell me, sure. is it real hair or wigs? Twilight. Uh, real Wig. hair. Wig. New moon. Wig. Real hair. <laughs> Eclipse. Wig. Real hair. Oh my gosh. Part one. Real hair. That was a wig. <laughs> And then part two. That, that was Real all, hair. that thing was a wig. She's been wearing a wig ever since New Moon, basically. Uh -huh. And I've been not wearing a wig ever since New Moon. Are there any regrets to maybe dyeing your hair or wearing yeah. a wig? Yes. yes. Please do tell. <laughs> a lot of regrets. <laughs> uh, in the hair dyeing department. my hair. Think yeah. about it daily. <laughs> we what kind happened? of do, actually. You know what's really bizarre about this is that normally you step into a character and you, you're more concerned about who, finding out who this person is and exploring that aspect. I have never been as concerned with what I look like. And, and I mean, the vanity, it was just, that was a huge part. And it's so out of our control, by the way. Yeah. Like, they I'm would wishing, just. Yeah, I wish I had had more vanity, actually, <laughs> <laughs> in retrospect. Not that I didn't have vanity, I'm always vain, but I, I could have used a little more vanity, I think. It's just so strange to have someone hand you something that's going to be, it's not like I got to pick out my yeah, wig or to construct or. Yeah, yeah. A lot no, of my hair color your... changed all the time. <laughs> <laughs> we look like different people in every movie, and it just, yeah. you know, you didn't really get to have a say in it. So that mm -hmm. was that yeah. was difficult. Yeah. I think. Do you think you figured it out by the final film, this vampire transformation? No. I think the <laughs> makeup, you know, was really, f yeah, I think the makeup got very strong at the end. Um, with Jean Black, we had this great, great makeup artist. Um, but, you know, the ha hair is always an issue because we're in rain, we're in wet. You know, the, the humidity is a real challenge, and mm -hmm. you've got a hundred vampires standing out in the forest and it's raining, it's a little hard to manage. Totally, makes sense. <laughs> now, if there was a reboot for this movie in 10 years, 20 years, um, which is likely, this yeah. is a very popular franchise, who would you want to come back as? What other character? Wow, do we get that choice? <laughs> yeah, that's an option. You can come back as Esme. Should as I be Esme? you say it now, it's, it's true. <laughs> it's totally. okay, I'm going to be Esme. Um, Why would you choose Esme? Yeah, oh, I love Esme. I've always loved Esme. She's, I mean, she's the matriarch. She keeps us all together. And what no one realizes about Esme is that she actually has us all in check. There's a real power behind that is true. Esme. Both it's not on just and the off love. Screen. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. I think I would get like a laser peel and come back as Victoria. <laughs> and, a, and wear a giant red wig. <laughs> yeah. Or Another dye wig. it. No yeah. wigs. Yeah, I would dye it. I would dye it. Yeah. You're dedicated. <laughs> yeah. I dyed my hair for the first one, and I would have continued dyeing, except that I lost most of my hair, and they were putting extensions in it halfway through. Mm -hmm. The bleach yeah. was... Mm -mm. Who would have thought well, your hair is back to normal. It looks fabulous. Hair is fabulous. Thanks. <laughs> so beautiful. We're in the same temperature now.